In this video, I will be editing a boring video into a viral piece of short form content. And by doing this, I will reveal to you the process by which we edit viral videos step by step. And you might be asking yourself, how are you gonna pull this off? Well, I've been an editor for six years now. I've edited videos with hundreds of thousands of views and run a channel with 8,000 subscribers and 500,000 views. Now that we know I'm qualified to teach you, let's not waste any more time and dive straight into this. So to start off, I set up my camera, my lighting, and my mic. I'll then record my short and get straight into editing. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just cut up my footage and you're gonna see exactly how I do that. So as you can see, I've got multiple tries over here of the same sentence that didn't work. So I'm just gonna cut out my second try, creating a cut right here before I start speaking and right here as soon as I end my speaking and then deleting the rest. And I'm just gonna do that for the rest of my video over here. Now that we finished up the basic cuts of our edit, I'm gonna go in here and change the basic cuts into J cuts because those maintain viewer engagement a lot better. Now to create a J cut, all I have to do is overlap the the drop in audio over here with the increase in audio over here. Let me explain. So as you can see, my audio over here is decreasing from this point all the way to this point, whereas my audio at my next cut is increasing from this point to this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and overlap both of them so that the decrease in this audio is matched with the increase in this one. All I'm going to do is hold alt and drag my video back and then push it down. And this is the result that we get. Use presets and plugins. Imagine a professional sat down for hours and hours. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest of the timeline and see what we get. And before we start building on top of that, we first have to plan out. In short form content, you've got a hook within the first five seconds. In the hook, I generally want there to be the most action or the most amount of editing, basically. So I wanna first start off with my intro because that's gonna be the most time consuming. Let's see what we can do. Here's three quick tips to instantly improve your editing. This is where I'm gonna start to use my show not tell mentality. The show not tell mentality is just a mentality where you essentially just show everything that you're hearing. Here's three quick tips. To the first thing I say is here's three. So I'm gonna to wanna to show that with some text. So I'm gonna drag in my text and type out here's. And I'm just gonna word out everything that I'm saying right here. Just duplicate my text, change its position so I can see where it is, and then change that to whatever I'm saying. Do the same thing for quick and the same thing for tips. Now I'm just gonna shorten them down. I want the three to be on the side over here i want the quick to be over here i want the tips to be right here and i'm just going to change the color of the three because it's a number and it kind of stands tips out. to instantly improve your editing so for the background i'll just be using this paper texture then to showcase what i'm saying i'll drag in my glowing text and word out the words to instantly then i'll drag in this arrow increasing animation and actually i'm just going to take it and increase its size making it cover the entire screen and change the blending mode over to screen this will give it this cool glowing effect and then when I talk about editing, I'm also going to have some footage of a person editing to visually deliver that to the viewer. Now, let's see what we end up with. Here's three quick tips to instantly improve your editing. Now, this is completely rough, so let's just go ahead and nest a few things, add a few animations, and bring this all together a lot better. The first thing I'm actually going to do is nest all of this text together, and I'm going to have it being tracked to my chin. As for this animation, I'm just going to go up and search for a move from bottom preset animation that I've downloaded and then drag it onto here. And for this part, because I just had lots of animations, I'm just gonna do some tracking over here. Here's three quick tips to instantly improve your editing. These worked for me, so they'll work for you. Now that we've edited the intro, I need your attention for just one second. Whether you're a beginner or an expert in video editing, this is for you. Imagine an online community where I teach you how to master video editing from scratch, then host weekly group calls to personally help you, then teach you to edit different short form styles, and then land the client for you and bring them to your fun day. This is videoeditors.io. It is an online community of editors with two goals, mastering video editing and making money online. We've got almost 100 courses on Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and CapCut. I'm also hosting my own personal course in which I take you from a beginner to a professional in just 30 days. I also teach you how to edit like me and Ali Abdal and Alex Hormozzi and multiple different styles. We host weekly group calls where we answer your questions and review your edits. And you can learn to grow your social media page with our business courses. And for 2024, we'll be releasing a certification program where we can link you to companies in need of editors. All you have to do is pass the video editors test and start getting paid. We want you to take as little risk as possible and enjoy the benefits of being an online video editor. So if this sounds good to you, join videoeditors.io for only $47 a month. The link is in the description below. Alright, back to the video. Now for this clip, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete myself. I'm gonna add a background, then I'll drag in my text and type in my first tip. To spice up my text, I'm gonna add a glow to it. 
drop the threshold all the way down. Then I'll rearrange my text how I like it. Imagine a professional sat down for so for this section. I think I have a piece of stock footage. Let me drag that in. Hours and hours. We can use a clock to showcase hours passing by. Trying to create. Actually, here I can add that meme of the dude typing really hard. A beautiful and aesthetic asset. And for this part, I'll add a heavenly background. And this is what we end up. Imagine a professional sat down for hours and hours trying to create a beautiful and aesthetic asset. I want to add a rotation animation to this thing. I'll add a quick zoom into this meme right here. And then I'll place it over my heavenly background. Now, for this part, I'm just going to add a simple zooming because I want to build it up to a meme. So let's go ahead and drag that in. And we can just add some tracking to it. And I'm going to cut that as soon as the noise gets loud because that just makes it funny. <laughs> There we go. Now over here, I'm mentioning my second tip. So I'm just gonna go to where I mentioned my first tip and then just duplicate it as a whole over to this side. Now all I have to do is change the number one to number two and then change the actual tip to what I say in the video. Since this is a build up, I'm just gonna add a simple zoom out. If you are trying to build a building, the first thing you have, I'll just drag in this construction gear and I'll replace the video with a background and I'll add a move from animation. And then I'm just gonna make it get off of the screen with a move to bottom animation. Then I'll just word out everything that I just said right now. So I'll drag in my text and I'll try and align it to each word that I say. Then I'll go ahead and write out every word that I said. And then I dragged in a house building gif. And then slap on a move from bottom animation. You have mastered different types of cuts timing and pace. As for here, I'm also going to use a background, right? So I'll just go ahead and add my background. And for this first part, I'm just going to write it out as one piece of text. And then I'll just drag a move to bottom animation to make it disappear at the end. Different types of Now, when I say cuts, timing and pacing, I'm going to go ahead and find the icons matching for each one. So going back to my edit, as soon as I say cuts, I'm going to go ahead and drag in my cut icon. We have to nest it and then we can add our glow and mess around with these settings till it looks pretty good. And when I say timing, I'm going to add my time icon. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and nest it and then add a glow to it. And once I say pacing, I'm also gonna drag in my icon for pacing and do the exact same thing where I nest it and add a glow to it. And now that each emoji is aligned with what I'm saying, I'm gonna place each one at a separate place on our screen. Now we can get a bit creative with the animations on these ones. For the one at the bottom, I'm gonna add a move from bottom. For the one up top, I'm gonna add a move from top. And for the one at the center, I can do a move from left or move from right. Cuts, timing, pacing. Nice. This specific statement, I can actually use a rapid zoom out on it. So before I do anything, I'm going to right click and nest it. And then I'm going to drag in my rapid zoom out. And then just to extend the keyframes to the extremities of the clip. Otherwise, your building will just collapse. For number three, we're going to do the same thing we've done for number one and two. We're going to go ahead and duplicate our background and our text. Change the number to three. And then change the advice to whatever I say. Secret that a person grows best when surrounded by like-minded individuals. Once again, we're going to be using our show not tell. And I'm going to try and visualize everything that I'm saying. For the part where I'm talking about a person's growth, I'm gonna have this stock footage of a person smiling. And now for the part of the like-minded individuals, I can show this video of a boardroom. And for this last part, because I want it to be impactful, I'm just simply gonna add a zoom into it. And I list three things, so I'm just gonna have a background and start listing these as text. So after applying our show not tell mentality, take a look at how many more layers we have got. So now let's watch through this and add our transitions. The ones that I'm going to be using are a combination of grunge transitions and light leaks. To do this, all I have to do is drag in my transition video into my project file. So let's go ahead and watch through our video right now and see where we can place our transitions. I said I wanted to place a transition when I'm going from this scene over here all the way to this scene. Right, so let's go ahead and do that and then change the blending on the screen. Quick tips to instantly improve. Now when we're going from here to here, I'm just going to have a movement transition. These worked for me. I think I'll add a transition between this point over here and this clip right here. Go ahead and drag that in and align it. Asset. And you can just come, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And I need a small transition between this clip and this clip. Now that we're done with transitions, let's move on to sound design. I'm First, we brought my words to life with visuals. Now we're going to bring the visuals to life with sound. So let's go ahead and do that. The three is important. So I'm going to have a sound effect for it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use this sound effect right here. See how this looks. Three quick. All right. And for the transition, let's see if we get to add our sound effects. And this is our transition sound effect. It's to instantly improve. Let's have a whoosh as this thing is coming up. Improve your and I want a sound effect for the arrow increasing. Let's see how this sounds. Alright, now when I'm transitioning between scenes, I like to use a camera shutter sound effect. Number one, use presets and plugins. Alright, I'm gonna add a typing sound effect for this. As for the area where there's this heavenly thing, I'm also gonna add a heavenly sound effect. We can add a shutter sound effect here. So I just went ahead and added a sound effect for each time a word popped up. 
and this is what we end up with first thing you would do is dig once again a whoosh for the movement and a camera shutter for changing scenes once again using that wine glass sound effect to highlight the things that are popping into screen now to highlight these statements instead of using a wine glass sound effect i'll just use a bell sound effect you can ask questions take inspiration and learn from professionals now there's one more thing that's missing and it's kind of the ice cream on the cake the ice cream on the cake the icing on the cake we're gonna be making use of our build up sound effects and our hit sound effects so i'm just gonna have a build up right over here as i'm introducing the hook right and i'm just gonna have it build up all the way until i transition to the part where i'm tracking to my face three quick tips to instantly improve your editing these worked for me so they'll work for you number i also want to have a build up here and we'll add one last build up right over here and after two hours of editing, this is what we ended up with. Here's three quick tips to instantly improve your editing. These worked for me, so they'll work for you. Number one, use presets and plugins. Imagine a professional sat down for hours and hours trying to create a beautiful and aesthetic asset. And you can just come and use that in your video. Number two, master the basics. Most of you need to hear this. If you are trying to build a building, the first thing you would do is dig out and build a solid foundation. It's the same with video editing. Make sure you have mastered different types of cuts, timing, and pacing. Otherwise, your building will just collapse. And number three, join a community of editors. It is no secret that a person grows best when surrounded by like-minded individuals. So finding a community where you can ask questions, take inspiration, and learn from professionals is crucial to mastering editing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. It truly means a lot to me. Please, if you've watched till the end of the video, go ahead and comment down below so I can thank you personally because it genuinely means a lot to me. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out videoeditors.io and as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or message me directly. I'll see you guys in the next upload, hopefully not two months from now. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Oh, and check out these two videos. They're really sick. I promise. You can trust me. Right, like this one's pretty cool. It took a while to make.